let us take one question which is a beautiful question till now in gate or esc they are yet to touch this kind of question okay that's why i keep two stars a single phase transformer has core loss of 30 watt at rated voltage and its full load copper loss is 40 watt the percentage of rated load at which short circuit test can be regarded as an economic heat run test is so we should be able to understand what is meant by economic heat run test first thing and second thing is why economic heat run test is possible in short circuit conditions only not in open circuit conditions in this is sc test conditions only not on oc test conditions we have to see first of all if you think of short circuit test basically we know that sc test can be conducted at any current value with any non-zero frequency because because of sc test we are going to find series branch parameters those series branch parameters are linear so the moment uh, parameter values are linear at any operating point i can uh, conduct the test not like shunt branch parameters not like non-linear parameters now what is meant by economic heat run test basically if you think of a transformer is there okay so in transformer in transformer for example winding is there here okay for example this winding is designed for full load current full load current if i inject full load current what will happen my copper wire my volume of copper is going to be fully utilized okay so means for example if i inject more than full load current what will happen if i inject more than full load current my wire or copper wire will burn how it will burn for example this is the copper wire okay and for example this is designed this area of cross section is designed for for example 10 amperes 10 amperes you know if you inject more than 10 amperes through this conductor what will happen what will happen because of the current flowing through this it is going to have depending upon length of the conductor and area of cross section of the conductor and resistivity of the conducting material we are going to have a resistance here okay now if you inject current i square r losses will happen those i square r losses which are nothing but copper losses copper losses will be converted into temperature rise heat energy now because of that heat energy heat energy my metal can what do you say burn can burn okay so if the temperature temperature rise temperature rise causes it to burn causes it to burn if it is more than melting point of the <coughs> conductor okay so for example if i say this is designed for 10 amperes 10 amperes means that for 10 amperes current i square or losses will happen in this particular conductor and because of those losses some heat will be generated because of those that particular heat energy developed temperature rise will happen here on this conductor because of the temperature rise the temperature rise that particular temperature rise will be less than okay will be less than melting point of this conductor then this conductor will be as it is okay so what is the conclusion here if any conductor is designed for full load current if you inject more than full load current it is going to burn because of temperature rise okay so you have to keep in mind that because of temperature rise for example in this i'm going to have <coughs> like this for example load is connected okay load is connected this is going to be practical transformer in practical transformer if it is operating at full load conditions if it is operating at full load conditions if i supply rated voltage and rated frequency rated frequency if i supply rated voltage and rated frequency to the transformer core loss are going to be rated core loss are going to be rated <coughs> okay now if i connect my rated load rated load under that conditions rated current will flow means my copper winding will be fully utilized so rated current will flow if you neglect no load current rated current will flow here so because of that copper losses also will happen rated rated now temperature rise in transformer temperature rise in transformer because of this loss and this loss will happen okay so in practice in practice temperature rise of a practical transformer tra practical transformer will be decided by both core loss and copper loss both core loss and copper loss okay now because of these two combinedly temperature rise will happen <coughs> okay now for example for example means uh, see here you have to focus here if i conduct my sc test only okay means that load will not be there it is connected short circuit okay sc test conditions i'm not going to give rated voltage rated frequency of course at rated frequency also i can give but i'm not going to give rated voltage means i'm going to give 6 to 12 percent of rated voltage already we know or very small amount of voltage we are going to give that is short circuit voltage you can give 
okay so if you supply short circuit voltage maybe the sc test can be conducted at full load only for example i am operating at full load i am operating at full load then how much will be the temperature rise in the transformer only because of core loss under that conditions core loss sorry only because of copper loss under that conditions core loss will not be there okay in sc test conditions whatever may be the component of core losses are going to exist those core losses we are neglecting already we have done detailed analysis okay so conclusion is in sc test conditions core loss are very much negligible compared to copper loss so under sc test conditions copper loss will be rated if i conduct my test at rated currents okay but core loss will not be there core loss will not be there for example a practical transformer is there for a practical transformer if i want to find temperature rise of a practical transformer for a single phase transformer means we have some test okay so for by using some test we can conduct temperature rise of a practical transformer and for three phase transformer we have one more test called as dummy load test okay so by some test or dummy load test we can find the temperature rise of a practical transformer but the difficulty of some test is we should have two equally rated machines okay and difficulty of uh, what is a dummy load test is we should have three phase transformer <coughs> okay now for example i have only one transformer okay so of course the analysis will be more problem is very easy forget about it analysis okay so for example for a transformer i am going to have only one single phase transformer one single phase transformer now i would like to find the temperature rise of a single phase single transformer single phase single transformer for example for example rather than conducting rather than conducting this particular test at full load this particular test at full load let me conduct this test at more than full load more than full load more than full load under that conditions my copper losses my copper losses in sc test conditions will be more than copper losses at full load okay for example my copper losses in sc test conditions which are going to be more than full load is equal to core loss at rated conditions plus copper loss at rated conditions meaning that meaning that if you take an example here means we are going to have we are going to have 30 watts core loss and 40 watts copper loss 40 watts copper loss for example if i conduct my sc test if i conduct my sc test such that such that sc test copper losses because during sc test core losses will not be there sc test copper losses sc test copper losses are 70 watt are 70 watt under that conditions definitely through the copper wire i am going to inject more than full load current more than full load current or more than rated current then can i say my copper wire is going to burn no no why means that though i designed this conductor for 10 amperes definitely i can inject more than 10 amperes why basically for a practical transformer cooling system will be there okay so for a practical transformer cooling system will be there that cooling system is designed to dissipate designed to dissipate both core loss and copper loss okay so my cooling system is designed to dissipate both core loss and copper losses in practical scenario so my cooling system has to handle has to handle copper losses at full load plus core loss okay so means up to some temperature rise my cooling system is designed okay so my cooling system is able to dissipate some heat energy to outside world such that stable temperature rise of a practical transformer when it is operating at full load when you supply rated voltage rated frequency rated frequency practical temperature rises for example maybe 80 degrees centigrade 80 degrees centigrade now if you want to reach that 80 degrees centigrade in my sc test condition in my sc test condition for example if i inject my current more than rated more than rated current under that conditions such that it should be more than rated such that my under uh, sc test conditions i'm going to have copper loss now the moment you inject more than full load current copper losses will be more than full load under that condition the extra okay the extra copper losses under sc test conditions will be more than full load copper loss full load copper loss that extra losses is equal to core loss okay under that conditions what is the temperature rise which is going to happen in a practical transformer in sc test condition is same as practical temperature rise getting my point right so means what is economic heat run test economic heat run test is means if you conduct your sc test at more than rated current at more than rated current such that at more than rated current if you conduct sc test sc test copper losses equal to full load copper loss plus 
rated core loss if uh, this particular transformer can absorb transformer can absorb under that conditions if you keep the transformer as it is under sc test conditions maybe for example for 3 4 hours together because temperature time constant is high so in order to have stable temperature rise we need to wait for hours together okay so for example in this case means core loss are 30 watt copper loss are 40 watt so in sc test conditions only if i can uh, what do you say supply 70 watts of power 70 watts of power and if i keep the sc test under these conditions for three four hours together after three four hours directly go and measure the temperature that temperature is going to be practical transformer temperature rise because of copper losses of rated and core loss now because of this sc test is being conducted at more than design value more than design value of copper will it burn no my transformer is designed for a temperature rise of core loss and copper loss in sc test core loss are not happening so in sc test only copper losses are happening so that copper losses can be raised more than design value but it should not be more than in sc test conditions my losses should not be more than should not be more than copper losses rated plus core loss okay it shouldn't be more than that so what is economic heat run test is if you have only one transformer if you want to connect sc test conditions by sc test if you are trying to find out the practical temperature rise of a practical transformer under that condition that is called as economic heat run test economic in the sense it is economical because i need not have two equally rated machines like sampler test okay so what is point here and one more thing is one more thing is why it is possible with SC test, why not possible with OC test? For example, if you supply rated voltage, because open circuit test, we have to conduct the open circuit test at rated voltage, rated frequency, we had detailed discussion about it. Okay, so for example, if you are supplying rated voltage, rated frequency, rated core loss will be there in open circuit test. In open circuit test. Now, in order to absorb, in order to absorb under OC test conditions, in order to absorb means rated copper losses plus core losses in OC test condition. In OC test condition, supply voltage should be more than rated. Okay, if supply voltage is more than rated, more than rated, my dielectric failure will happen, insulation will fail. For example, for example, if a transformer is designed for 100 volts 50 H primary. Okay, now if I supply 100 volts 50 H rated voltage rated frequency, core loss are going to be rated. But in order to become, means my core loss in OC test conditions, OC test conditions should be more than core loss rated should be more than core loss rated means that i have to supply more voltage if i supply more voltage more voltage under that condition my what do you say dielectric failure will happen so of course frequency can be reduced and all again for frequency reduction what has to be used power electronic should be used okay if you think of sc test it is very easy just you have to supply more voltage than vsc such that more than rated currents will flow okay now let us see here core loss okay so core loss rated equal to 30 watt and copper loss rated equal to 40 watt okay 40 watt now see my short circuit test conditions short circuit test conditions copper losses should be equal to 30 plus 40 70 watts okay if i inject ifl full load current ifl square re equal to 40 watt Okay, if I inject ISC, what is ISC? X times IFL. X times IFL. X should be more than one because it should be conducted at more than full load current. Under that conditions, it should be 70 watt. Okay, so this 70 watt should be X square IFL square. Okay, for IFL, if I get 40 watt, for X times IFL, it should be X square times 70 watt. How much is the value of X? Okay, so X equal to under root of 70 by 40 okay because this value is going to be ifl square re and this value is going to be x square into ifl square re okay because x times ifl so x is going to be x is going to be means 70 divided by 40 under root okay 70 divided by 40 under root 70 divided by 40 under root is going to be 132.28 percent or 132.3 percent so this is going to be 132.32.3 percent okay so definitely see here 
okay if the rated current is ifl if the rated current is ifl definitely i can conduct my sc test sc test up to 132.3 percent of uh, rated current rated current till that point nothing will happen for example if you try to conduct your sc test sc test for more than 132.3 percent of rated current in sc test definitely transformer will burn okay our copper wire will burn so answer is going to be 132.3 is going to be one sorry answer is going to be 132 percent it's a very 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 beautiful question beautiful question in the sense about economic heat run test till now they did not ask the question that's it thank you